And in just a few moments, we're going to reach peak heating and peak deceleration. That's at 32 G-forces, punishing G-force on our SRC, a phenomenal view of that streaking SRC coming in across the sky. That parachute deployment was given internally by the spacecraft. All of what you're seeing now is autonomous on board that SRC. The team on the the team on the WB fifty seven doing the job. Touchdown! I repeat, EDL SRC has touchdown. And touchdown of the Osiris Rex sample return capsule. A journey of a billion miles to asteroid Bennu and back has come to an end. Marking American pieces of the asteroid Bennu, you see the reaction there just moments ago as they got that sample back on the ground. This is the team at Lockheed celebrating that momentous achievement of getting that sample from oh, <laughs> the SRC, landing about three minutes ahead of when we had originally predicted. Actually approach this sample, check the area for any unexploded ordinances, UXOs, that could possibly be out there on the range. And then also make sure that that... As I mentioned, that first person on scene will be the on-scene commander, Stu Wiley. He'll be doing an environmental sweep. We're getting a nice close-up view. You can see the parachute disconnected. You can see some of the wiring of it. There, just a little, are pieces of the asteroid Bennu. We'll be getting access to those samples in just a few days and actually seeing exactly what we got from the asteroid regolith. Original expectation was at about 5,000 feet. And this brought us down the last leg of the journey after a punishing initial entry into Earth's atmosphere over San Francisco, about 82 miles in altitude, to now laying resting on the rugged Utah test and training range desert floor. Mm -hmm. You can see front and center there, Stu Wiley, our on-scene commander, and right behind him is Victoria team. They are both wearing personal protective equipment, gas masks. That's for their own safety as they approach, as there could be potential outgassing from that sample return capsule's batteries heating up during reentry. You can see him scanning the region. He's checking for any possible unexploded ordinances, UXOs. Recovery operations. Oscar is performing the unexploded ordinance survey. And you just heard that he is, in fact, doing that survey right now. You can see him walking around the SRC. This is the first person to come in contact with this SRC since it was on the other side of the solar system. We had sent this on a long journey. It was Cyrus Rex spacecraft. Finally delivering the sample, he is motioning over to Victoria team, who is Shortly going to approach and begin taking some gas and thermal readings. You can see her walking over. It must have given the clear for her to proceed. A little bit closer. Stu continues to pace around the surrounding area. All over here, the team will collect samples. He'll begin to place flags. You can see in his backpack, he's got a couple flags waving in the breeze. Those will be placed at areas of interest for the parachute was set to deploy based on capsule deceleration, and we actually reached that threshold earlier than predicted, and the parachute deployed appropriately, so everything was right there, working perfectly fine. We got that SRC, as you can see, successfully on the ground. It is perfectly resting on the desert terrain, and you see three of our team members around that capsule beginning to place flags to begin to collect samples. The team members here you see on screen are Scott Sanford. There we have it. We are going to be moving towards those long line operations. The rest of the team members approaching that SRC that has been successfully bagged and prepared to be loaded into the helicopter's long line. This will be the last time the SRC takes flight. We had a, a wild flight this morning. You can see two team members lifting that SRC up. It's about 120 pounds total once you have the SRC and the carrying fixture there together. And you can see we have the cargo netting already laid out there. Our representative from Dugway, Jasmine Nakayama, is prepared with that cargo netting. She is going to help the team here get that SRC that has already been successfully bagged up with thermal wrapping into that cargo netting. And you can see the helicopter already there staged and ready to lift off. The helicopter pilot has actually removed one of the doors on that helicopter so he can with the SRC in tow. Recovery operations. Helicopter one is cleared to depart the recovery site with the SRC. And we have clearance to depart the recovery site. This is a key moment of those recovery operations. We're already getting that SRC out of the landing zone and on its way to the Dugway clean room. In just a few moments, that SRC 